This video is part of the Cybersecurity Challenge Germany 2020. I'm showing off various tools that can be used to solve this part one of the introduction to reverse engineering challenges. Note that this challenge is super easy and not every technique shown here will work for the second challenge, but I hope I can give you enough inspiration to do your own research into these tools and then dig into part two and part three yourself. So here are the intro ref challenges ref1, ref2 and ref3. We will look at ref1. So first of all, it's a good idea to check what type of file you have. On Linux-like machines, the file command can be used to get some information. And so it tells us it's a 64-bit ELF binary for Linux and it's not stripped, so it contains symbol names from the source code it was compiled from. This makes reverse engineering easier. I'm using a Mac here and you can see when I try to execute it, it gives me an exec format error. A Linux ELF binary cannot be executed on a Mac. So I'm using here a workflow with Docker to get a Linux shell. I'll link some resources below how I do that. Alternatively, you can also install a VM or on Windows, check out the Windows subsystem for Linux. Okay, so now I have here a Linux shell and you can now execute the binary. It asks for a password, and if it's wrong, it will fail. Note that I executed here locally. Once you found the password, you need to use netcat and talk to the IP and port given in the challenge description and enter the password there. Now let's just go through a big collection of alternatives on how you could find the password. First, I'm using a hex editor. Here you can see the raw bytes represented as hex values. And over here, you see those bytes represented as ASCII text. When you look around, you can find in there some readable text, like the give me your password, enter prompt. And then there's the suspicious looking string that could be a password. Let's try it out. Give me your password, you shall pass, and that's the right password. Easy, now we solve the challenge. But let's check out a bit more. There's also a utility called strings, which extracts all valid ASCII byte sequences from this binary, and in there you can also find the password. A similar but more powerful tool is part of Radar2 and it's called Rabin2. With minus ZZQ you can find a lot of possible strings and the output also gives you information like the offset inside of the binary where it was found. And of course, here's the password too. Strace is a tool to trace system calls and it can be used to learn more about what the binary does. All the stuff here at the start can be ignored, it's just executable setup stuff. But down here you can see how the flag file is opened and read and then it writes the password prompt and reads and waits for input. But it didn't reveal the password here. However, there is a related trace tool called ltrace which traces library calls and it can show the libc library functions that are being called. If you use that, you can find a string compare on the input and the password. Awesome. Another option, especially when a password check is a bit more hidden and not just a simple string compare, is to debug it, for example with GDB. In this case, I'm using GDB with the extension PwnDebug to make it look fancy. And so you could disassemble main and read the assembly here to see what happens, or you could do a dynamic approach and see what happens by setting a breakpoint in main and step through the code with SI for single stepping or NI if you want to skip calls and you can observe the registers, the stack and generally what's going on. Here you might identify the technique for the password check. In this case, simple string compare, here's the password. GDB is definitely very useful. I talk a bit more about GDB in some other videos. I link resources that are relevant below. Another awesome tool for reverse engineering is Ghidra. It's also a disassembler, but it can also decompile code. So I'm loading the binary into Ghidra. Yep, yep, blah, blah, continue, yeah, analyze and all that stuff. And then let's look for the main function. It's here. It automatically decompiles the assembly code and it's awesome to learn assembly too because you can compare how certain assembly instructions relate to some pseudocode. Anyway, here you can see how user input is read into this char buffer and then it is compared to you shall pass. So this is also a very awesome and powerful tool to reverse engineer any kind of password check algorithm. 
Another more hardcore reverse engineering tool, but definitely looking cooler, is Radar 2. I'm opening Ref1 in it and I analyze it with AA. Then I'm seeking to the main function and use capital V to enter visual mode. And here you can also see the call graph with the string compare and you can find the password here. Yeah, that's it. Was really easy, right? If you are just starting out to learn reverse engineering, I'll link some videos of mine below, but I can also just recommend to play around with it. Write a simple password check in C yourself, compile it, and then try to reverse engineer it. Implement a for loop, a while loop, some if case, and then always reverse engineer it to get a feeling how C code is compiled to assembly. Now, good luck with Ref2 and Ref3.